Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight Ladies and gentlemen, we have another big trade here. Um, I, I saw this one coming. Genuinely, I saw this one coming from a mile away. When I heard about the rumors that he was not liking how it was going with Vancouver, I knew that he was on the move. And it happened around in around the middle of August when we started first hearing this. When he got when it was having trouble negotiating his contract, then he got offered that one year deal. I just knew that he was gone, and I knew that Yuel Levy was not going to be in Vancouver for very long. He did not have a good camp. Um, he was just, he was just out of it. Truly, he was just out of it. And I mean, like, you know, that just happens. I mean, it happens with some places. Some places don't like, you know, the management. I mean, look at Ottawa. I mean, like, Ottawa just keeps having players leaving. Columbus, I guess, is kind of an example. I'm not too sure how you want to say about that. Um, but anyways, the Canucks have traded OU Levy to the Florida Panthers for Yuho Lamico and Noah Juleson. So, two very good depth options there going back the other way for Florida. Uh, Lamico, not a bad prospect up and coming. I think he could be a solid underrated guy for the Canucks. And then, of course, Noah Juleson as well is picked up from waivers uh, by from the Montreal Canadiens last season uh, by the Florida Panthers. So, of course, he is now with the Canucks as well. So, two not that bad depth options. And I have a lot of hope for Ole Levy. I have a lot of trust in him. I think he can bear, do very solid with his up and coming Florida Panthers roster. Now, it's it's been a big argument wondering, like, Oh, where do they go from here? Like, I mean, like, where does Ulevi go? Where does he fit on the Panthers lineup? Honestly, where you want to put him is really up to you. The Florida Panthers defense is really, really stacked right now. The depth is crazy. Um, so I am kind of wondering where he's really going to fit on that roster. Probably third pairing, maybe second pairing at best. But I think he can very well start the season with down in the minors with the Checkers. I think it's the Checkers that's their affiliate team. I could be wrong on that. They swap them like every year. So, I mean, like, he could very well start down in the minors. He could start third pairing. I think he can make a legitimate chance. He just could not get get it rolling with Vancouver. And that happens for some players. We covered a lot of players on the channel who just could not do it. And then when they went to another team, they kind of just pulled it off. Sam Bennett, for an example, he's a very big prime example uh, of that, obviously. So, I mean, that's pretty much the trade. It's not that big of a trade. I mean, you will levy. It could be a very underrated deal for Florida. But right now... He is now with the Florida Panthers, and I mean, another big player off the trade block. So anyways, thank you all for watching. Price pours late. I really, really do appreciate it. If you can subscribe, that would be great. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.